Today's guitar tip is on watching people play guitar on YouTube and copying what they're doing. And I'm just gonna talk about a couple simple strategies very quickly that you should be aware of when you're doing that. Uh, the first thing is you wanna make sure you're looking at the left hand and the right hand. And that's for two different reasons. If you're looking at the left hand, it's usually to figure out, of course, which fret is being played and which string but you also wanna see which finger is being used by the guitar player and try to copy that. In the right hand, you wanna see which strings the person is playing. And I'll show you why you wanna look at the right hand. Let's say I'm playing this chord. Now, it's a three note chord. The thing is though, I have one finger pressed down. So you know some of these strings are open. And since I have no fingers pressed down on them, you won't be able to tell which strings I'm playing open by looking over here. You have to look in the right hand. So make sure you're always looking at the right hand and seeing which strings are being played. It can get even more complex if there's open strings in between uh, two uh, notes which are fretted. So if you look at my left hand, I'm fretting right here and I'm fretting here. But in between is an open string. You might not be able to tell that unless you're looking at the right hand. If you're looking at the uh, left hand and you copy this, and then you go look at the right hand, you'll see that I played three strings. And then you'll understand that there's an open note embedded in that little chord there. Now with the left hand, you always wanna look at which finger the guitar player is using because guitar players are always playing for maximum efficiency. Well, maybe not always, but they should be. And when you copy the fingers that the guitar player is using, you're gonna make your playing more efficient. A great example is Crazy Train. You don't wanna play Crazy Train like this. You don't even wanna play it like this. You wanna play it with all of your fingers. really efficiently and when you're watching someone do that on YouTube just copy the fingers that they're using and usually the result will be a lot better and there's one more thing that you want to look for in the right hand you do want to look for the picking direction sometimes if a song is really fast you're gonna be doing down and up picking and if you're trying to copy someone and you're not getting the speed that they're getting it might be because you're only using down picking and you're not doing the up picking as well. The right hand picking might be something that uh, you can be a little bit slack on because um, alternate picking has a few rules to it, mainly that on down beats you pick down and on up beats you pick up. And if uh, you're not familiar with that and you haven't practiced it, it can be pretty tricky uh, to, to actually apply that. But for the most part, um, you can pick down, and if you can, pay attention to which direction someone's picking. It does come a lot, become a lot more important when you're doing chords. When you're watching someone strum chords, of course you want to listen to the pattern and try to copy the pattern, but there is a system to picking down and up. And if you don't know it, what you could do at least is watch which way people are picking in videos that you're trying to copy and that will help you get used to that system. Even if you don't understand it just yet, it will help you at least begin. So that's the tip for today. Good luck.